Wonder Nerds, it's Friday and we're in the kitchen. I don't know why I called it that. <laughs> week is to do something, it's up to you, whatever, to decrease world suck. Which I don't think is that outrageous of a challenge considering we're nerd fighters and it's something that should and does come naturally to us. It's really up to you what your method of world suck depletion is. Volunteer somewhere, see if there's like a food not bombs in your area or something, or you can kick it boy scout and like help a lady cross the street. You can protest something that does suck, like a puppy mill. I don't know, it's up to you guys. I personally am getting my necklaces in my muffin. Personally, I'm making muffins. Anyone that's ever been to Vancouver can pretty much agree that, ew, that our homeless population is pretty obscene. I mean, there's about 2,000 people in Vancouver that don't have a place to live. There's a lot of punk rockers in Vancouver, so I'm not sure if they like count the squatters as homeless, but regardless, that's a pretty disturbing number. So my mom and I used to do this thing usually around Christmas time called a homeless run, which sounds really awful, like it's a running of the bulls kind of deal. But anyway, what a homeless run is, is you basically just make food and or clothing for homeless people and then you run around downtown and ask them if they want it. Because while I don't like when people assume that all homeless people are drug addicts, I do realize that, you know, contributes to the problem. So I don't usually feel comfortable giving people my money, um, just because I don't know where it's going. Honestly, if there's even the slightest chance that my money's going to a meth dealer, if there's even the smallest chance that my money's going to a meth dealer, I'd sooner give it to Walmart. Cass. There's a lot of people that think that way, that like, people are homeless just because they made bad decisions, when in reality, especially in Vancouver, there was a mental institution that shut down in the 80s and people with nowhere to go that were living there were basically SOL. I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense. It's really hard to concentrate on what I'm saying and what I'm doing at the same time. I don't know how Dan Brown does it. And I think the problem with thinking that way is we don't get to decide who has the right to a place to live and food to eat and who doesn't. I mean, I've made mistakes and if one of those mistakes ever rendered me homeless, I would hope that someone showed me a little compassion you know, instead of just assuming that I deserve to be where I am because I made bad choices and brought me a muffin. And again, not everyone that's homeless has made a bad choice. Some people just get a shit deal. I'm not going downtown today because I have to work, but I will probably bring my camera when I go. I don't know how many people are going to want to be on YouTube. Like, hey, Wonder Nerds, thanks for the muffin. but. If anyone does, they'll be in my next video. I forgot to grease the muffin pan. Oh, nom, 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 nom. So yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys do. I'm a little choked that- Hey, look, I'm Paul. Shaky camera singing. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm a little choked that nobody got my... Cliff in Chicago joke. Everyone's like, there's no cliffs in Chicago, blah, 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 Chicago's flat. Yeah, I know. That's why it's funny. So my arm is already tired, Paul. How do you do this? Um, I will see you guys throughout the week. You'll see me on Friday. Specifically, Meg, I will see you tomorrow. This is what happens when I make videos in my kitchen. I forget to mention really important things. First of all, do you remember that art school I was freaking out about that I applied to and was afraid I wasn't gonna get my portfolio done in time and that it wasn't gonna be good enough? Apparently it was, because I got in. Um, yay! And also, Will Grayson, Will Grayson, oh my god, it's so good. If you guys don't own it, you should by now. Just do it. And, yes. It wasn't, it's not looking for Alaska. And it's not Paper Towns. I don't know, it's the first time I've ever been acutely aware that I was reading a teen novel when reading a John Green book, but it's good. And David Levithan is hilarious. Yeah, it's not It's not going to change your life, but it is a good book. So read it and tell me you love me in the comments, because I just decided that right now.